It's just different. And Jesus left the temple and was walking away when his disciples came up to him to call his attention to its buildings. Do you see all these things, he asked? I'll tell you the truth, not one stone here will be left on another, and every one will be thrown down. And as Jesus was sitting on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him privately. Tell us, they said, when will this happen? And what will be the sign of your coming in the end of the age? And Jesus answered, watch out that no one deceives you, for many will come in my name, claiming I am the Christ. And will deceive many. You will hear of wars and rumors of wars, but see to it that you are not alarmed. Such things must happen, but the end is still to come. Nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there will be famines and earthquakes in various places, and all these are the beginning of the birth pains. And then you will be handed over to be persecuted and put to death, and you will be hated by all nations because of me. And at that time, many will turn away from the faith and will betray and hate each other. And many false prophets will appear and deceive many people. Because of the increase of wickedness, the love of most will grow cold. But he who stands firm to the end will be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in the whole world as testimony to all nations. And then the end will come. So when you see standing in the holy place the abomination that causes desolation, spoken through the prophet Daniel, let the reader understand. Then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains. And let no one on the roof of his house go down to take anything out of the house. And let no one in the field go back to get his cloak. How dreadful it will be in those days for pregnant women and nursing mothers. Pray that your flight will not take place in the winter or on a Sabbath. For then there will be a great distress, unequaled from the beginning of the world until now, and never to be equaled again. If those days had not been cut short, no one would survive. But for the sake of the elect, those days will be shortened. And at that time, if anyone says to you, look, here is Christ, or there he is, do not believe it. For false Christ and false prophets will appear and perform great signs and miracles to deceive even the elect, if that were possible. See, I have told you ahead of time. So if anyone tells you, there he is, out in the desert, do not go out. Or here he is, in the inner rooms, do not believe it. For as the lightning that comes from the east is visible even in the west, so will be the coming of the Son of Man. Wherever there is a carcass, there the vultures will gather. Now immediately after the distress of those days, the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light and the stars will fall from the sky and the heavenly bodies will be shaken. And at that time, the sign of the Son of Man will appear in the sky and all the nations of the earth will mourn and they will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of the sky with power and great glory. And he will send his angels with a loud trumpet call, and they will gather his elect from the four winds, from one end of the heavens to the other. Now learn this lesson from the fig tree. As soon as the twigs get tender and its leaves come out, you know the summer is near. Even so, when you see all these things, you know that it is near, right at the door. I tell you the truth, this generation will certainly not pass away until all these things have happened. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. Amen and amen.